Don't fret, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Here you are on Forgotten Masters on CFRO, Vancouver's on Co-op Radio at 101.1 half. <laughs> I'm Ian Layton, your host of Forgotten Masters, uh, the show that um, celebrates unstrung heroes of the guitar. None other represented more than my guest tonight, which is Klaus Schrader. Klaus. Uh, Klaus, yes. From Germany. Uh, Klaus, welcome. Yeah. Uh, willkommen. Ah, oh, funny. Like fake German. Klaus, uh, but yeah, I'm Klaus, happy to but be here. No cigar. Klaus, yeah, there's a million of those <laughs> jokes, right? Well, welcome. Welcome anyway. Yeah. Very, very happy to have Thanks you. Thanks for having me. I'm super happy to be here. Let's talk about me. <laughs> I like it. My favorite kind of night, right? <laughs> now, tell us a little bit about why you're here and. Well, I'm doing a guitar clinic. Yeah. It's a Rufus guitar. Mm -hmm. And so they invited me. On Commercial Drive. Commercial Drive. Nice guys. Yeah. Real good guys. Hey, fellas. And uh, so they invited me along. And uh, so I'm just uh, still play. Now, uh, Klaus, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at your, your bio. My and resume. The, your resume <laughs> and that you, you faxed over to us and you've played with Alice Cooper, Tangerine Dream. Yeah. And most famously, almost uh, the Scorpions. Yeah, that, uh, that it, which is really where, where you made your name. Tell us about uh, those the, the the heydays, German hard rock. Yeah, the heydays. A lot of things were happening, right? It was so much in, a change in, in, happened in Berlin when the the wall came down and, uh, yeah. and things just could, took off like crazy. It was crazy, but I mean, the wall came down like ten years later. That that was more mid late eighties. I didn't mean that wall. I meant the wall at your mother's house. Oh, yeah, right, when she extended my room. When my brother moved out, yeah. they, they, they took the wall down right. that uh, divided the east wall from the east room from the west wall yeah. room. And so they took it down, tear down that wall. It was very prescient of, of, uh, prescient. Your, of your mother to, to take down the wall uh, prior to the actual Berlin Wall coming down. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. And ironically, you did go and play at the Hansa studio where um, you two played, yeah. and Bowie played, yeah. you have played. All the greats, all that's the why greats. I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, um, that's, it's got a special place in my heart, that place. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I was talking to Bono about it uh, last week, actually. Yes? Yeah, we are out at his ranch. Oh. Bono's yeah. ranch. In Ireland? He's got an Irish ranch. Just south of uh, Belfast. Irish yeah. ranch. They have ranches? In yeah, Ireland? it's a cattle ranch. Oh. I didn't, I really didn't know that. Yeah. It's fascinating. Um, now, can I move no, this? Can I move, can I move this? You? No, Is that cool? No, no, you can't. I'm sorry. You can't move that. Okay. Now, you have a, you have a, uh, uh, a new album coming yeah. out called uh, Solo. That's right. Uh, tell us a little bit about Solo. I love to. I'm really proud of it. Uh, Solo, it's, um, it's basically, uh, it's, when you listen to it, it sounds like just all guitar solos. Right, but it's it also sounds like solo. Well, yeah. Well, what do you mean? Is, is it just like it's so low? Why, why did you call it so low? Oh, yeah, of course. Well, uh, uh, sorry, I thought it was obvious. Uh, so I recorded full band, drums, bass, the guitars, which I played all of them by myself. Mm. Engineered, produced the whole album by myself. No keyboards. No, no keyboards. Not in your world. Um, I'm not Europe. <laughs> and uh, what I did was when I mixed it, I'm like, they're getting in the way of the guitar solo. So I mixed everything else, all the rhythm guitars, bass, drums, so low. Uh, the human ear can't hear them. Leaving just your solos? 
just leaving the solos, yeah. So the title of the of the, of the album does double duty. It's your solos. Double duty. And everybody else is so low. Yeah, they're very low. It's clever. That's incredible. Yeah. Incredible. I actually never thought of the solo guitar part. Like I just named it so low. You're right. That's hilarious. Like it's like a guitar solo. That's funny. But the really cool thing is I'm also selling these wicked headphones. You can get on my website. Oh. Well, actually. On, on the side of the right ear, tiny little mixing board. So you can mix the album really? like you want the album to be. That's yeah, incredible. Yeah, re it's revolutionary. No one's ever done it before. No. So this is a tiny little mixing board. You could be very delicate because it's very close together. Yeah. So if you want more bass, you can slide the bass up, little more snare drum, slide it up. Like it's 24 channels. Right there, Incredible. and of course there's like effects and stuff, tiny little knobs. You can add some more delay, or if you want more reverb, yeah. put on a little EQ. Incredible, yeah. Incredible. Incredible. very, very, yeah, go to my website. very yeah. experimental. Yeah. Wow, how much are you selling them for? Yeah, the three hundred and forty-eight dollars. Oh, wow. Deal, great deal. Amazing. Yeah, that's Amazing. per side. Yeah. So like to get to the right side is three hundred and forty eight dollars, and the, the the other headphone is three hundred and forty eight dollars. So oh, it's about I see. So there's it's it's eight, nine hundred dollars So you can buy them in mono or stereo? No, you have to buy both or it won't oh, work. Right. But you can buy each side for three or four hundred and eighty. Very experimental. I and and, and uh, on the album, I yeah. noticed that you have a song called Can You Give Me Some Feedback? Yeah, that's right. And but it, proud it's, of that. So I'm real proud of that. It's song. seven minutes of actual feedback. Yeah, but not just like sloppy feedback or it's like one smooth note, precise one tone. Seven minutes. And uh, and uh, it, and actually in there there's an actual if you listen hard enough there's a there's a music reviewer. That's um, right. Talking to you and giving you giving me feedback. actual feedback yeah. during the feedback, giving you feedback on That's your right. playing. That's right. It's a Canadian guy actually oh. from Toronto. He was uh, he was there, so of course he's all Canadian in the background. Yeah, I really like this album. It sounds really great. That's better than anything than Eric Clapton's ever done. Not a lot of people like to. They no. don't seem to like Clapton. No, that's true in the business or in real life. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's just fascinating to me. Yeah, it is fascinating. Just fascinating. Um, maybe you could uh, touch on your songwriting. Maybe you could touch me. <laughs> well, uh, when you auditioned for uh, Scorpions, tell yeah. us about that. Uh, you, there, there, were, there were 140 guitar players That's right. auditioned, came down to you and Matthias Jabs. What happened? Well, we get there and we're like, guys, we can't decide, even though it's pretty obvious, but it was what pleasure to be in the room because like Uli, John Roth, and Michael Schenker, like gods of mine. Uh, and they're like, we can't choose. Klaus Mann's like, we can't choose. It's just how he talks Does all the he, time. He talks like he sings? He talks like he's talking to 30,000 people all the time. Oh. We can't choose! And I'm like, cool, Klaus, what are you, uh, you going to do? And it's sort of funny, I mean, confusing, because I'm Klaus, he's Klaus. It's hilarious, right? Two Klauses. Yeah. Two, really Klaus, two Klauses for comfort. Two Klaus for comfort. Yeah. That's, That's another one. Hilarious. That's another one. You're a funny little guy. So anyway, we're like, okay, so let's play some songs and just like a solo off, like just keep playing back and forth. So we did it and I thought it'd be like 16 bars, maybe 32 max each. But Klaus is like, play some more. So we keep playing, it's like an hour. I'm like, oh, okay, Klaus. He's like, I'm really hungry. Gonna go for a buffet. So they leave, but keep playing. The whole fucking band leaves for a buffet. Like three hours later, they come back. We're still going. It's like, we still don't know. And then so like Klaus is like, he pulls up a little blanket and he goes to fucking sleep. I'm like, what's happening here? So I'm playing. It's like two in the morning. I'm going. Matthias is like, build the guy's strong. Stronger than his playing. He's strong in my arm. It's like that. And before you fucking know it, man, my, my tendons just... Pfft, 
burst out of my skin, man. Mateus wins. But now, I mean, would it be considered that, because it, I, I think you, you, you're such an accomplished uh, player that, yeah. um, that uh, uh, would you say that Matthias uh, occasionally steals uh, well, or, or, or imitates? Yeah, well, here's a, a hilarious thing. Like, it's a 72-hour fucking guitar lesson. He got for free. Blackout, the song Blackout. Yes. That was a joke. I was just trying to... to, to Rudolph was being so annoying. So I'm like, shut your face. I'm like, just immediately play it for a second. I was just trying to annoy him and, annoy him, and I was like... <laughs> Right. And it's like an irritating, and then suddenly I hear Blackout years later. That's a fucking song. So he used your annoying chords. Yeah, the, the singer was like, shut up, became the first song in Blackout. It's incredible that you can be so annoying and yet so successful and exactly. so creative That's through true. how incredibly annoying you are That's very and true. can be. Yeah, I'm glad you see that. Do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you, you mean. You know what I mean? You're really just annoying. For sure, I get just, it. Uh, just You just kind of bug people and just sort of piss them off. And, yeah. and yet your creativity shines through, your, shines through. Your, your, your incredible annoyance. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. And they go on to sell like a, I don't know, like a 90, 95 million albums or something. Wow. But thankfully, like I'm ninety-five not, million. Thankfully, you you've maintained your optimism and not yeah. gotten bitter at all. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I feel good. I, like seriously, I can't just move this. Like it's got a little. No, thing I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right I'm sorry. Here. You can't move it. Okay. Now, why did you choose this particular flying V? Oh, good it's question. Beautiful. This, thank you. Yeah, it's better than any other flying V out there, like Rudolf Schenker, maybe. <laughs> Uh, I had mine first. I mean, Michael. Uh, this one chose me. Oh. Yeah, it chose me. I walked in. It's like like a water. What do you call that when you find water? Oh, uh, like a divining. Like a divining rod. rod. Yeah. I walked in. It's like ah, I chose you, and I'm like okay. So I took it, and it's real special. If you look down here closely, all all these 15 cameras. One of the volume knobs is missing. So there's a volume knob missing. So what that does, you see that's metal right there? Yes. Right there's metal. Yes. So you hear the pure metal. There's none of this plastic in the way. So this controls this pickup. So there's no plastic for the sound to go through. Ah. So it's just pure metal, electricity, through metal, through more wires than <laughs> So that's cool. And up here, if I can get this on the camera, I don't know. You'll see the tuning head is crooked. Because my G-string, I have it a little bit off. I like a slightly off G-string. It's one of my signature sounds. If you listen, listen closely, you can hear it. It's like a little tighter, like a real tight, slightly off G-string. So that's happening there. It looks like the it looks like the crooked tooth of an eighty year old man in a home. Mm, I lived in a home once mm. with my mother after I blew out my arm. Retirement home. Yeah, that's where I lived for several years. Really, that's how I made my comeback playing to all the people that were trapped there. They're trapped, you know. Captive audience. Yeah, it's like literally, they, they, they can't go. As some of them passed away, you. You played them out. I played them out. You played them out. Takes them to Valhalla. We're so happy to have Klaus Schrader on the show with us tonight. Definitely a forgotten hero of the guitar, forgotten master of the guitar. And, um, and uh, so what he's going to do now is play us out. He's going to play us out. Play you some, out. With some beautiful Berlin German hard rock. So sit back, relax and take down that wall inside you.
been Ich bin eine Berliner. Sure.